Hi guys, Sean here from DigiDirect. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Nikon D780. This is a new full frame DSLR that is replacing the D750, uh, which has been out since 2014. Now, we'll see that the D780 takes a number of features from Nikon's Z6 mirrorless camera and packages it into a DSLR body. We're going to go over all of the new features on the D780, and along the way, we'll be making comparisons to the D750 and the Z6. Now, if you'd like to jump to any particular section of the review, just check the video description below. And as always, if you find the video helpful, please like and subscribe. Physically speaking, this is a pretty stock standard design for a full frame Nikon DSLR. Now, I don't say that as a negative because don't fix what's not broken, of course. That means the D780 is a solid design with good ergonomics that fits well in the hand and it has a nice, comfortable, and good sized grip. Size wise, it's about a mid sized camera. It's not too big, but not too small. You can see the size comparison here to the Z6, it's a bit bigger than the Z6. It is a weather sealed camera with a magnesium alloy body, so you can rest assured that it can stand up to some abuse and bad weather, rain, and so on. There's the familiar array of buttons and dials across the body. We only have one or two very, very minor changes from the D750 here. It features a 2.4 million dot tilting LCD screen, which unlike on the D750 is now a touch screen, which is handy, it lets you scroll through menus a lot faster, touch to focus, and so on. Another difference is that the built-in flash from the D750 is removed here. There is no built-in flash on the D780. Nikon says that that's going to help with the weather sealing of the camera. The D780 also features dual UHS-2 compatible SD card slots, which is an improvement over the dual UHS-1 compatible SD card slots from the D750, and many would argue an improvement over the single XQD card slots from the Z series cameras. Battery life is a particular strength here as well. It uses the same ENEL15B batteries that we've seen for some time now, but the D780 lasts for 2,260 shots. That's pretty absurd. It's an impressive 1,000 shots more than the D750 and a full six times more than the Z series cameras. I shot for hours with this camera and barely made a dent in the battery life. So this, this all day shooting capability is gonna be a big important feature for a lot of people. Uh, and just note as well, you can even charge the battery via the USB-C port on there as well. So internally, the D780 has a similar 24 megapixel sensor as we saw on the D750 before it. Uh, so it sits in that kind of mid resolution range uh, like a lot of cameras these days. Picture quality wise is very, very good, just like the D750 was before it. Very strong and dependable picture quality. Now the D780 also gains a new processor. This is the XP6 processor that we saw from the Nikon Z series cameras. This processor, along with some minor tweaks to the sensor design, allow for better high ISO performance and range compared to the D780. That new processor is also going to allow for a faster maximum shutter speed of 1 8,000th of a second and a minimum shutter speed of 15 minutes. This is compared to on the D750, we had a max of 1 4,000th and a minimum of just 30 seconds. Overall though, picture quality is going to be similar between the D750 and the D780, and that's not a negative. Like I said, picture quality is very high on both of these cameras. It's just not a major point of difference between the two models. Now, initially, the autofocus system on the D780 appears to be similar to the D750. The D780 has a 51-point AF system when you're shooting through the viewfinder. Now, Nikon has incorporated some algorithms from the D5, their very high-level, high-performance pro camera. So you do see some performance improvements over the D750, but broadly speaking, that's a similar AF system. However, this changes drastically when we jump over to live view. When in live view, the D780 switches over to a 273-point phase detect autofocus system, which is taken directly from the Nikon Z6, their mirrorless camera. Now, when I reviewed this system on the Z6, I was quite impressed. This is a very robust autofocusing system. It covers 90% of the frame, so very good coverage. It's got good tracking, good subject detection. We've got eye detection and tracking as well. It works in video, of course, as well, because it's in live view, so you get that autofocus performance is carried over to video shooting. Not every Nikon DSLR can boast strong uh, autofocus performance in video, so that's a very good feature. We'll get to video more in a moment here. But all around, live view shooting offers this very robust uh, autofocusing system taken from the Z6, which is a definite benefit. We also see some differences here uh, on burst shooting. So when you're using the mechanical shutter, the D780 can shoot at up to seven frames per second, which is just a smidge better than the D750, which was 6.5 frames per second. 
But again, we switch over to live view. Now we're using the electronic shutter and the D780 can shoot at up 12 frames per second, albeit now shooting with 12 bit RAWs rather than 14. So overall, the through the viewfinder performance on the D780 is solid, just like it was on the D750. In fact, a little bit better due to those new algorithms. But the real difference here is switching over to live view and taking advantage of that 273 point system. That's a big upgrade in terms of autofocus performance on the D780. Now video shooting is a major point of improvement on the D780. This essentially takes all of the video features from the Z6, which means the D780 can shoot ultra HD 4K video at full pixel readout with no crop at up to 30 frames per second. This means it's actually shooting in 6K and then downsampling it to 4K. You can also shoot at 1080p at up to 120 frames per second. And both these shooting modes are very high quality, very crisp. The 4K video is very sharp. It looks fantastic. In addition, you can output 10-bit via the HDMI port using either Nikon's analog picture profile for color grading or their HLG picture profile for HDR. Furthermore, the camera has a number of important and time-saving features for video shooters like a mic and headphone jack, zebra stripes, focus peaking, time code, the ability to quickly punch in and check focus, and more. And as I already touched on, the autofocus performance in video is very, very strong due to that uh, focusing system in live view. So you have very good performance in AF for video as well. Now the only useful video feature that the D780 doesn't have uh, would be in-body image stabilization because it's not a mirrorless camera, it's a DSLR. So that would be really the only strike against it I could say in terms of video performance, although of course many Nikon lenses have image stabilization built into the lenses. Overall, if you're a video shooter who's been looking for a DSLR camera that's got a very robust suite of video features, the D780 definitely is a good option for this. Other than that, there's a grab bag of other features on here as well, such as in-camera time-lapse, focus stacking, multiple exposure mode, and more. Overall, Nikon's goal with the D780 was to take many of the advances in mirrorless tech that they've made over the past couple of years and package that into a DSLR that is otherwise reminiscent of the D750. And to that end, I think they've definitely succeeded. I think the D780 is a solid and dependable option for a pro or enthusiast shooter who's not quite ready to make the jump over to mirrorless yet, especially if they have an interest in video shooting. And there definitely are reasons why one might prefer the D780 over a mirrorless camera like the Z6. You may just prefer the general handling of a DSLR, you like optical viewfinders, the dual card slots on this camera, the massive battery life on the D780, or you just generally want to use Nikon's DSLR lenses without having to adapt them. I think we're going to see this develop into a popular camera and a worthy successor of the D750. Now the D780 is going to be out in late January of 2020. You can place a pre-order right now on our website at www.digidirect.com.au. Once the camera is out, visit us in store and you can test it out for yourself and see what you think. We've got stores in the Sydney CBD, Bondi Junction, Miranda, the Brisbane and Melbourne CBD and Cannington, Western Australia, which is just outside the Perth CBD. Thanks guys. Take care.